Hello, this is Miss Sarah from Fountain Dale Public Library, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper gingerbread house. In your kit, you should have received some paper cutouts. You will also need a glue stick or some glue for this craft. The first thing you want to do is take a careful look at the cutout pieces. You'll notice that there is a very hard to see line that goes down one side but you don't see it on the other side. You want that line to be on the outside of your project. You want to fold along that line. And that line will be on both of the little house cutouts. And you'll come out with four walls that you can put together to make a square shape. You will also see that there's a little tab on one side. You want to fold the tab in. That's a surface that you'll be putting glue on later. And on the other folded in half piece, there's also a tab. We'll also fold that tab in. And then if you look at the roof section, you want to fold that towards the inside of your project and also fold the square piece on the other side into the project. And see another tab on that second piece of roof. You can fold that in towards the center and up along the roof line of the house you'll see a few more tabs that you want to fold in towards the center. So you have a nice sharp point at the top. You can do the same thing on the other piece. So you have two nice points. and you can sort of see how all the pieces go together. So there's one tab on one wall of the house that goes to the wall of the house with no tab. You're going to glue that with your glue stick and press it together. And then on the other side of that piece, there will be a tab, there will be a wall with no tab. You put glue on the tab and you're going to press them together. You'll notice that I'm using a glue that is purple when you use it when it's sticky and it's supposed to dry clear. However, I'd recommend if you have a different kind of glue to use that instead. The purple kind seems to make things a little bit discolored once the glue has dried. And once you have your walls together, you can sort of see how the roof will go together.
If you try tucking all the pieces in before you add glue to them, you'll see that the tabs go towards the inside. The tab on the top goes on the inside and the square piece of roof goes on top of it. So I'm just going to add some glue with the glue stick here. And then you press the loop against the tab. Make sure they're sticking together and then do that on the other side. And then for the last piece of roof, press the square piece of roof to the tab. Do the same thing on the other side. Final tab inside the roof. And then you have a little house. And once you have your little house, there are different ways you can decorate it. I used some of the dot stickers to make lines and patterns so you can make lines that look like strings of christmas lights you can make patterns that are just decorative on the surface of the roof you've also included some other options there are some cotton balls so if you like you can spread out the cotton balls with your fingers and put some snow on your house There's some sparkly snowflakes. You should have little sticker peel off backs so that you can just press them into place to decorate the surface of your house. And there's some stickers that look like candy to make it look more like a gingerbread house. So you have a couple of options, come up with the design you like, and I hope you enjoy making your gingerbread house.